Hello everyone, welcome to Motor on Beat Beat. Today I'm in Bingley and this guy is, um, uh, well he stuck out greatly in the pandemic. It's Captain Sir Thomas Moore and uh, we're going to see his very fine gravestone. I've just seen it in the background. So he's known for doing uh, his walk a hundred lengths of his garden and it was for the NHS Together uh, charity and that's what struck a chord with all the, all the nation. He basically stuck out him. He was a 99 year old man and um, he was doing his bit to try to keep spirits up during a very dark period for a lot of people really. So I think the fact he was 99 years old it sort of struck a chord with everybody. Um, okay let's go see him. He, he ended up winning the BBC Sports, Sports Award of the Year which is pretty amazing for somebody who's 99 years old. So over in the distance there not too far away I can see it. Very very pleasant indeed. Captain Sir Thomas Moore, 30th of April 1920 to the 2nd of February 2021, popularly known as Captain Tom, was a British Army officer and fundraiser who made international headlines in 2020 when he raised money for the charity on the run-up to his 100th birthday during the Covid-19 pandemic. He had served in India and Burma campaign during the Second World War on the 6th of April 2020, at the age of 99, Moore began his walk a hundred lengths of his garden in aid of the NHS charity Together, with the goal of raising £1,000 by his hundredth birthday. On the 6th of April 2020, at the age of 99, Moore began his walk a hundred lengths of his garden in aid of the NHS charity Together, with the goal of raising £1,000 by his 100th birthday on the 30th of April. In the 24 day course of fundraising, he made many media appearances and became a popular household name in the UK, earning the number of accolades and attracting over 1.5 million individual donations. In recognition of his efforts, he received the BBC Personality of the Year Helen Rosalson Award at the 2020 ceremony. He performed a cover version of the song You'll Never Walk Alone, sung by Michael Ball, with the proceeds going to the same charity. The single topped the UK charts, making him the oldest person to achieve UK number one. On the morning of Moore's 100th birthday, the total raised by his walk passed 30 million, and by the time the campaign closed at the end of that day, it increased to 32.79 million, worth almost 39 million with the expect, expected tax rebates. His birthday was marked by a number of ways, including a fly class by the Royal Air Force and the British Army. He received over 150,000 cards and was appointed as the Honorary Colonel of the Armed Federation College on the 17th of July 2020. He was personally knighted by the Queen at Windsor Castle he died on 2nd of February 2021 at a Bedford hospital where he was taken after being treated for pneumonia and they had tested positive for COVID-19. Yes, and he achieved the Helen Rosalind Award for the BBC Sports Personality of the Year. Pretty good when you're 99, isn't it? Or 100. So, you know, it just, it just uplifted everybody's spirits during those terrible periods. So let's have a look. And do you know what the biggest thing is? The amount of money that he raised, he he got he was aiming for thirty million pounds. He ended up getting thirty two point seven million. That's thirty two point seven, and they reckon with the tax rebate, it was going to be thirty nine million pounds. That's unbelievable, isn't it? So anyway, let's have a spin round. We're going to see a very fine to gravestone to a very fine man, and here he is, Sir Thomas Moore. It is, it is fantastic. He's got a really good resemblance to him. I remember watching him on Piers Morgan, and he came from this area. So Thomas Moore, born on the 30th of April 1920, died on the 2nd of February 2021. <laughs> oh no! You see, I haven't read this. I told you I was old. That's a bit like Spike Milligan's, isn't it? Um, I told you I was poorly. I think that's not really true about Spike, actually. But there we are. In loving memory of Hannah, wife of Thomas Moore, Club Nook, Riddlesden, who died on November the 22nd, 1929, 
in her 73rd year. Also of the above named Thomas Moore died August the 9th 1931 in his 81st year. Now we've got a little word of peace at the bottom and a postcard upside down. We'll have to put that right, I can't leave it upside down. And who can't forget that uh, rendition of You'll Never Walk Alone with Mr Ball. <laughs> Michael Ball. No, I mean, you know, you, Sir Thomas, he wasn't a singer, but it was the spirit that we struck, wasn't it? You know, um, it really caught everybody's imagination. It's got a little flower there. It's got a little book, I don't know what's in it, but we're, oh, look. Let's have a check what people are putting in this. Oh, isn't that cute, look? People are, it's not going to last, is it? Can you see? Little messages. There, look. Can you see? Yeah. Don't forget, it's absolutely free to subscribe and ding the bell so you see notifications when new films go up. A thumbs up and a comment would be lovely. And it's goodbye from me, Alan, at Motorhome Beep Beep. Have a lovely day, whatever you're doing, make the most of every moment. Bye.